to introduce the first speaker that we have tonight. He's going to tell us a little about his story, his Olympic story. So he is, yeah, isn't that bomb? I don't know, right? So he was actually an undefeated, undefeated wrestler in high school. He's a junior here at Ohio State. He majors in sports industry. I have no clue what that means, but it sounds awesome. Yeah. And he's actually the youngest American wrestler ever to win gold. And one of his biggest fears, which I completely and totally agree with, is clowns. Okay, they're not fun. I don't know why anyone likes them. But let's welcome up Kyle Snyder. Yeah, I brought the gold medal. Yeah, you guys can pass it around if you want. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get it first. Let me get it first. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Oh, yeah. thirsty for the picture. Ah, big fan. Man, so Kyle, thank you so much for being here tonight, man. So let's give him a round of applause one more time. Right on. Um, yeah, so I thought I was doing something, and then you just go out there and win gold. I'm like, man, they didn't change the NCAA rule for you. I like, gave you the money. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but no, man, we, we really want to hear your story. So um, just just take us all the way back to the beginning. Then we can talk about high school, and you were beast in high school. I heard, what was your record in high school? Oh, um, my record was 179 and 0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would have won against you. I don't know. Um, <laughs> So, so that's crazy. What made you want to come to Ohio State? Um, well, I visited a whole bunch of different other schools, and uh, I kind of narrowed it down pretty early. I, I committed when I was a junior in high school. So I just liked Ohio State. I liked the people here. I liked the coaching staff. I liked my training partners and the training environment that we had. And uh, it's only gotten better since I've been here. So it's been real good. Gotcha. So that environment's huge, man. Yeah. I, I'll be the first to tell you. So what was it like? What was, excuse me. What was it like when you first got here and you kind of had all these goals and, and, and visions in your mind and what you wanted to be? How did you get from where you were as a freshman to where you are now? How did I get? Well, I came here my senior year, the summer after my senior year. So actually, my senior year of high school, I moved to Colorado Springs, and. Uh, that's kind of where I found Christ. I guess we'll get to that a little later. But yeah, um, yeah. so I moved here. Then my summer, my senior year, started taking summer classes. And obviously I had, had big goals. Uh, you know, I wanted, most of them were towards wrestling, you know, things I wanted to accomplish in the sport of wrestling. But Coach Ryan, I don't know if you guys have heard him speak. He's always been uh, a great mentor in my life and always pushed me uh, to also set goals. Uh, spiritually so um, but I mean since I've got here pretty much how I've gotten to where I am today is through the, my training partners my coaches pushing me to uh, be the best that I can be and I've learned a lot mentally I think the things I learned the most here mentally uh, just the way that I think about the sport and approach it that helps me compete uh, to the best that I can you take any days off man I am. I'm taking currently taking some days off, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, I haven't haven't been able to take some days off for a while, so um, not going to be wrestling for a little bit. Both of my big toes are hurt, so that's that's why I have to take the days off because if I kept wrestling, my big toes might fall off. So I, I'm done now for a little bit. Got you. Got you. Um, yeah. So so they were telling me kind of your bio and everything. You went to Worlds last year. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, what, was, what were the Worlds like kind of leading up to the Olympics and, and that whole thing? Yeah, so the Worlds last year were in uh, Las Vegas, and most of the time they're not in the United States. So for, for my first World Championships to be in Las Vegas, that was pretty special. And uh, it, was, it was an incredible tournament. I got to wrestle some of the best guys in the world. Um, to make the world team, I wrestled the returning Olympic champ from, from Penn State, Jake Varner. So, and then I also had to wrestle him this year in the trials to make the Olympic team, and he's always been really good. So, it's tough matches, but uh, I ended up winning the Worlds last year, so that was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you did the Worlds, crazy, right? Vegas, great time. Tell me about your next steps going into the Olympics. What was, what was your mindset, and uh, kind of, how, how did you mentally prepare for that? Yeah, so the next steps, I was supposed to take an Olympic red shirt, 
uh, which which meant that I was just going to focus on, um, you know, making the Olympic team and then trying to do my best at the Olympics, represent our country. And then crazy coach Ryan said, <laughs> got that look in his eye one day and was like, hey, we're going to need you to wrestle. Like, All right, I'll come out of my red shirt. And then we got Miles Martin to come out of his red shirt as well. So that was pretty sweet. Yep, exactly. True freshman national champ back there. But, um, Shout out Miles Martin. So I wrestled in the NCAAs, um, then the trials were a month after, so I wrestled in the NCAAs in March, trials were in April, um, made the Olympic team then, and then competed August 21st in Rio. Mm. Rio, you gotta tell me about Rio. I've always wanted to go to Carnival, to the, the dance and everything. I'm trying that. One day I'm going, to tighten up. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Guys still wrestle, guys still wrestle. <laughs> Yeah, so tell me about tell me about the, the whole Olympic experience, man. Like I feel like all of us as athletes always dream about walking in that, that opening ceremony and everything and just, yeah. just tell us about that. Yeah, the Olympics Olympic experience was awesome. All the negative things about Rio, um, I didn't believe them before I came and then when I got there, I was glad that I didn't believe them because it was, you know, they just kinda hyped it up a little bit too much probably like the media does. There wasn't wasn't that many mosquitoes. The Olympic Village was, uh, yeah. The Olympic Village was pretty nice. Uh, they did a good job making sure we had pretty nice facilities. And uh, it was cool. Got, I walked in opening ceremonies, so um, got to meet a lot of cool people that day. Got to meet USA men's basketball, like Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. That was pretty sweet. That day, I found out, I was opening up my door. I got all dressed for opening ceremonies. I walk out my door and the next door in front of me, out comes somebody else. I'm like, dang, who is this? Person looks familiar. And it's uh, Serena Williams. <laughs> she was my neighbor. Like the tennis, I guess the tennis player stayed right across the hall from me. And I was like, hey, what's up, Serena? How you doing? And she was like, good. How you doing? What's your name? <laughs> I'm, I'm Kyle. It's nice to meet you. And then we kind of both separated, did our own thing. But opening ceremonies were really cool. Um, just being together, you know, with the whole world. There were 206 countries represented, and they kind of they brought us all into this big uh, volleyball court area. And uh, there was like some MCs like you. You're better than what they were doing. Hey, <laughs> oh, want to come up? Watch out. <laughs> yeah. So, and they like kind of played music, and we all just sat with each other and talked for a little bit, and then lined up and walked through opening ceremonies, which, which was very exciting. That's awesome, that's awesome. So tell me about how your faith has played a role in, in your whole Olympic experience. I mean, you're 179 old high school. I don't know, if that was me, I would just big head. So yeah. just, just tell me about how your faith has played so much of a role in your life. Yeah, so it's, so it's interesting. Actually, I wasn't very spiritual at all in high school. I mean, I, I still was having success with wrestling, but didn't, I don't, don't consider myself spiritual, I didn't. I don't even know. I mean, I was taught to believe in God, taught to believe in Christ, but I didn't have a relationship with him or anything like that. And uh, when I moved to Colorado Springs, my senior year is finally when I, you know, accepted Christ. I had two coaches out there. One was named Brandon Slay. He was an Olympic champ in 2000 and one named Bill Zadig. He was world champ in 2006. And uh, they held a Bible study every Tuesday. So. These are two guys that have done things that I wanted to do. And I wasn't very spiritual. I didn't really plan on being spiritual. I planned on just going out there to try to become a better wrestler. And uh, they were like, hey, you should come to this Bible study. And I was like, whatever you guys say, I want to do. <laughs> because you did what I want to do. So I went to the Bible study, and it was really interesting. Um, I learned a lot the first night and then kept going back over and over again. I uh, kept asking more questions and started getting more serious with my faith. And in about February of 2014, I uh, accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. So that was pretty awesome. And ever since then, my relationship has grown closer with him. Um, and then, you know, fast forward to the Olympic Games. Uh, it was pretty cool because uh, my roommate, Tervel Delagnev, he's also uh, very spiritual, believes in Christ. and. Uh, Every time, I, every time I'm with him, I feel, like, um, I, I feel like Christ is present. I just feel, feel very content. I feel very happy and uh, feel, I feel like I don't have any worries 
in life just because of our conversations that we can have about Christ and uh, the way that he talks about it puts me at ease. So um, specifically, I remember one verse uh, when, I was in, when I was in Rio, I pulled up real quick, that really calmed me down and made me excited to compete. So not only, not only did reading this uh, you know, not make me anxious or nervous, but it also um, made me really excited and pumped up to go and wrestle. So the verse, it was a psalm. I don't know which psalm it is, but it says, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, the Cush and Seba in your stead, since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you. I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. So I feel like a lot of times, uh, before I compete, you know, I really, I really want to win. You know, that's the, everybody really wants to win when they compete. So the thing that people are scared of is losing, right? And uh, when I read that, it just, it made me not really care about winning or losing. It just made me excited to wrestle the best I can for, for Christ and to represent him in the best way that I possibly could. And it also kind of made me feel invincible. When I was reading it, I was like, I will walk through fire, but they will not burn you. I was like, I'm going to walk through this tournament. <laughs> I'm going to beat everybody up. Like, I don't know. Just for some reason, it really it calmed me down and made me excited. And uh, I felt, I just felt really content with where my life was at. I felt really content with how my training went. I felt really content where I, where I was spiritually. And then the next day when I competed, um, I read, you know, I read that verse multiple times in Rio, and then on August 21st when I competed, it was probably the best I ever felt. Like, not just physically, but mentally, I felt like I was in a place where I couldn't be shook. Like, in my semifinals match, I got thrown to my back and I was down 4-0. And most of the time, if that would happen to me, my heart rate would go up, I would start to get really stressed out, and uh, probably nervous that I couldn't come back on them, but I was like, man, I'm excited for this challenge. That was the first thing that popped in my head. Like, down 4-0, let's see if I can score more than four points on them. Come back. So my faith has definitely played a large role, not only in my life as who I am as a person and how I treat people and the way that I want to be remembered, but also with my sport. I think it's taught me a lot on the correct things, the value, and uh, it just makes it easier for me to get – all of myself out onto the mat and not hold anything back, which, which is still challenging because I always have the temptation of maybe I should, maybe I should calm down here, not take this shot because I don't want them to spin behind me, or maybe I shouldn't do this. I should hold back a little bit because of who knows why. But my faith uh, is helping me grow towards, <laughs> at least athletically, my faith is helping me grow towards uh, being the best, trying to be the best wrestler I can be when I compete every time. So. Wow, man, that was some straight fire. I don't know if y'all heard that. <laughs> it's incredible humility, man. And so let's just give a round of applause for Kyle. <laughs>